Dave Spaulding from Handgun Combatives. I'm here with my co-instructor, cohort, uh, partner, partner in crime, crime, Brian Bucky Buchanan. Behind the camera is Handgun Combatives instructor, Dave Jenkins. We're just outside of Rochester, New York, teaching a combative use of the MRDS workshop. And that brings me to this little unit that I've got here in front of me. This is the Bushnell RXS 250. And I've been using this for the last several months both carrying it, practicing it, and teaching classes with it. How I came across the Bushnell unit was, quite frankly, a couple of friends that I have that work at Vista Outdoors asked me to take a look at this. Now, I'm not on their payroll. I'm not a brand ambassador. I'm not getting any money from them. It was merely a friend that I made while I was still writing for the gun magazines. He said, Dave, we're coming out with this. Would you look at this and give me a no BS assessment of what you think? Sure, why not? We got nothing else to do. We'll do it while no. we're teaching classes and stuff. Best yeah. place to do it. Yeah. So anyway, um, we got a hold of the unit. He sent it out to us. And the first thing I did, Dave, if I can get you to zero in here, take a look at the gun we've been using it on. We mounted it to a lone wolf slide that we actually had dovetail and custom cut for the Bushdale 250. Uh, I am a big fan of Lone Wolf products. Again, I'm not getting any money from Lone Wolf. It's just many years as a paying customer. I really like their products and their quality control, so I went with that, uh, that slide. The 250 has a number of really, really good features. I've, I've taken the notice since I've been using it. The first thing is it's got a very clear red dot. It's, it's a four MOA dot, so it's easy to see both quickly and precision for distance. It's LED driven, so it's going to last a long time. Uh, it has uh, 10 brightness settings, and if you can see, there's buttons on each side, and these buttons are recessed into the body of the unit. So if I reach up in one way or another to manipulate the slide, I'm not going to change the brightness settings, which is something I really did like. Uh, the dot is usable both day and night and with night vision devices. The battery, which is a top-loading unit, as you can see, has 50,000 hours of life on the middle setting, which is probably where you ought to be setting it anyway. So, you know, you don't have to change it anytime soon, but I'm still one of those people that likes to change it every year. I do it on my birthday. Uh, it's got the footprint of a Delta Point Pro, so it's a very, very common footprint. And it's also dust and water resistant. I don't want to say waterproof because I don't think you ought to go scuba diving with it but it will certainly stand up to a good downpour of rain. So for, for using out and about in the streets, it isn't gonna be a problem for you. It's got some very defined one MOA click adjustments. And I mean, when you click those, you really can feel it. And along with the unit comes a couple of tools that are very, very handy. As you can see, the screwdriver attachment works on the click adjustments. It also works on the battery compartment. Whereas this tool right here can be used to make sure that the screws are down tight and uh, it just comes in very handy in your shooter's case. Also along with it comes a, a rubber cover when you're not actually using it or, or maybe transporting it in your uh, range bag. Another thing I noticed about it is the hood geometry. Now, you'll notice this, it's, it's curved, it's nicely rounded, so when I'm drawing it up out of the holster, clothing isn't going to snag on it. But if you'll notice the forward edge on the, on the roof up here, it's indented to kind of help keep sunlight and rain off of it. Now, it's not foolproof, but it does help. The glass screen itself is a true tone coating that does away with that blue hue that some of the other ones uh, use to, to project the red dot. So overall, I am really, really happy with the features, the look, the size. The thing only weighs an ounce and a half, so it's not like it, it puts a lot of weight on the top of your gun. It's just a really nice package that so far in shooting it, using it, teaching with it, I've been very happy. However, What's it look like? What's it do when it takes some abuse? And, you know, we've been wondering about that, haven't we? We always ask that question. I wonder how it's going to stand up to class, at least. Yeah, that you know, uh, it's, it's made of aircraft aluminum, the same stuff that your flash, your tactical flashlight's made out of. And Bucky and I were looking at this. We don't know what that black coating is on it. 
you want to say it's almost like rubbery, but I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it seems pretty durable. The walls all around it, the hood, they all seem to be really, really tough. But you know what? We never know until we try. You've been using it, so you've been trying. Yeah, and you know what? I told the folks at, uh, at Vista Outdoors, if, if you want me to test this, I'm going to test it. And they said, hey, do whatever you got to do to it. So, you know, I, I, I'm not going to torture test it. There's some great guys on the internet that are doing that, that beat the crap out of these things. And quite frankly, I'm not so sure how relevant that is. That's up to you to decide. What I want to know is if it'll do routine stuff without breaking, like when you just drop it. You've never done that, have you? Oh, no, carry, I would admit. Carrying a range no. bag out here, drop it on the ground. I would admit. No well, we, we pick it up and we take a look at it, and there's the dot, still right there. So a simple drop, as you can see, didn't even affect it, right? Not so far. Piece of wood. What about on something plastic? You know, maybe we drop it on something like that. Well, look at there. The dot is still there. It seems to be working just fine. And again, the outside of the optic isn't even marred. A console of a car. Plastic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, something like that could be a thing. What if it's dropped on like a wood floor? Maybe a deck, uh, an in floor of your house. I don't know. And it comes out of the holster at holster height. What does that do to it? Well, what do you think, Buck? I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, you see, do you see a red dot in there? Don't don't let everybody, you know, think I'm lying to them. Guys, there's a red dot. Yeah. And as again, we take a look at it. The finish you didn't even mark. So far, so good. But what's the real test of this? Oh, concrete. Always concrete. Concrete, asphalt, whatever the case may be. You know what? If anything is going to smash this metal housing, if anything's going to break this glass, it's going to be dropping it on a piece of concrete. Street test. So how high should we drop it? Well, if we take a look at how high we hold it when we're siding it, it would seem to me that this would be a good height. I agree. Okay, are we getting ready to kiss this thing goodbye? I don't know. I certainly know we're going to be recoding the slide. Yes, we are. Yes, we're going to be recoding the slide. But you know what? In the interest of science, what the heck? I like science. Let's take a look. Looked like a good bounce to me. What do you think? Let's see if there's a red dot. Okay. Yep. There's a red dot. There's a red dot. Let's take a look at the top of this. Yep, it's got some scratching on it and stuff like that. But you know what? May people would think well one isn't enough you know i mean most people out there drop their gun on concrete and asphalt multiple times in I their have, lives as a right? cop i have a lot okay it could fall out of the holster during a struggle whatever the case may be so we've got to do our audience right and do it again right okay oh still a dot there let's take a look at the damage well you know what we are certainly through that black coating, but if you can take a look, we have not dented that housing. The integrity is still there. The integrity is still there. The glass is not broken. There's no cracks or anything in it, okay? But what do we need to know now? What about what happened to the zero, possibly? Exactly. You know what? My big concern is not that the dot goes out because there's alternate siding methods. My concern is that unexpected shift of zero it shifts over a couple of clicks, which has happened to both of us. You know what? You're still seeing the red dot, so you're still working it because you're missing the shot. What do you automatically think? Uh, it's on. It, it, it's, it's me. I, I'm yeah. missing because of me, not because the sight shifted, right? So that concerns me, an unexpected shift to zero. So let's walk around here, grab the magazine. As you can see up there on the target, we zeroed it before we started filming the video, so we know it was on. Let's take a look now. This is a three inch square at 10 yards. That's how we zero the guns in our classes. Three inch square at 10, we go back to 25, reconfirm it on a three by five rectangle. You had a right? really good zero to start with. Yeah, pretty good zero. Let's see if it shifted. No. Could that be me jerking a little bit? Let's see. There's been a little bit of excitement. I think that was you. I would say it was probably me on that first shot, and this thing is still zero. Wait a minute, though. We're not done. After all, this outdoors gave me this unit to test as I want. I think okay? you should. So... 
unit doesn't belong to me, though if this goes well, I will certainly buy one. How'd she fare? It's dirty. Got to get the gravel out of the site. Huh. There's still a dot there. Let's Do you see. confirm that? Perfect. Red Let's dot. walk back over here and see if it's still zeroed. Well, you know, Bucky, when it comes down to this kind of stuff, you know, the torture testing's all well and good, but what somebody wants to know, is their optic gonna work under normal conditions? So let's go back to the top square, Fine. where we originally zeroed, see what we get. I see zero change. Nothing so far, right? What do we got to do? I'll let you have the honors. Make it into a Frisbee. We need NASA to help recover. Probably have to call on some sort of a dive team to find it, you know? Okay, what do we got? Okay, we gotta get dust out of it. Okay, what do we got? We're kind of scratched up all over every place. We've got dirt in there. Let's take a look and see if the dot is gone because, oh, no. Do you see a dot in there? I still see a dot in there. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to go over and zero it. Hey, you know what? Take a look at this. Uh, this could be a good commercial for Cerakote because there's only one little one little piece right here that's busted off. That's that's pretty tough coating. Get a little bit of the dust out of the site. Load it up. See what we get. Whoop, I'm off. Was that me or is it the site? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Did we have a shift of zero? I think. A little. Just maybe a little. Nope, they're in. Yes, you are. Probably me. Dust on Probably the screen. You. Dust on the screen. It could be anything. Got a couple bullets. Okay, let's put these in here and just make sure it's not me doing that because you're going to find this hard to believe, but sometimes I miss. I've heard of it. Well, I think we can conclude it was me or a little dust or something, but you know what? For typical routine kind of stuff, what more could we do? I don't have a helicopter. I'm not gonna run over it with my truck. Uh, no. You know, but let's take a look at it. The Cerakote's still in pretty darn good shape. The, the slide, we could just clean it off and it would work fine. The iron sights are still in great shape. And the Bushnell, though it's a little bit dusty and dirty, is still intact. And as you can see, that glass is not broken. I'm impressed. This unit sells for 250 bucks MSRP. That's my budget. So you go to some kind of a gun show or something like that, what? You get it between, you know, 210, two something quarter, like that, sure. two and a quarter. Um, and it's got all of the features you want. Now, am I saying this thing is duty ready? I'm not even gonna go there. I'm gonna stay away from all that. But what I will say is this is off duty and EDC ready. Definitely.
don't you think? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to be sending this back to my friends at, uh, at Vista, letting them take a look at it. And maybe I can control them into sending me a new one so it don't look so scratched up in classes. I'll bet they would control into doing that. <laughs> okay. Dave Spaulding, Bucky Buchanan from Handgun Combatives. Thanks for checking in.